Hello everyone, this is Sharla from Dreaming Angels Reborn, and I'm doing Joy Catherine's tag about who is your childhood best friend. My childhood best friend, her name was Greta, and Greta and I started being best friends in junior high. We were both somewhat, we were girly girls, but we were also very athletic. We played basketball, and Greta was a guard, and I was a forward, so we made quite the team. I'd get the ball to her and she'd score. And we ended up being both all district and we just loved basketball. Well, um, Greta had dark hair. She was a rather tall girl and not fat but a large girl. And I was a small blonde petite so we sort of looked like salt and pepper. And we were inseparable. We went everywhere together. We spent the night together. If I had household chores to do like cleaning the garage or whatever, there was Greta. She helped me, and she was from a large family of, I think, six kids, so I always loved to go over there because there was always something going on with her family, and um, it was just fun to see what all was going on. Well, as we got older, I taught her to shave her legs, and we ironed each other's hair, straightened each other's hair, put our hair on the ironing board, and iron away, and then... Um, one time she wanted me to cut her hair. Well, I did cut her hair. She had really long, pretty brown, thick hair. And when I finished, it was pretty short because I was not quite the beautician she thought I was. And it was kind of at an angle. So then I had to cut more to get it straight. But she didn't get mad at me. Not Greta. Because we were best buds. Now, when I spent the night with Greta, it was kind of fun because she lived in town. And at night, a bunch of us from different areas of town, we would sneak out at night. And we didn't do anything bad. We'd just climb out the window and walk downtown. It was safe. It was like a, like we were living in a town of 6,000. It was kind of like a, oh, uh, Barney Fife and Andy Griffith type Mayberry town. And all we did was walk downtown to the Washateri that was open 24 hours a day. And we would get a candy bar and a Coke and walk, come home. But we really thought we'd done something. And it was so much fun. We'd all plan to meet about 11 or 12 o'clock. And about six of us would meet down there and get candy and a Coke. And boy, we thought we were really doing something. Well, one night, Greta and I decided to walk out or sneak out. And we went to go out the same window that we always went out. Feeling pretty confident because we'd done it many times before. And guess what? Greta's dad had nailed the window down. <laughs> He found out that we were sneaking out, and he didn't say a word. He just nailed the window shot, uh, shut. Busted. We were really busted. But Greta and I uh, stayed friends through high school and all. And like I said, we played basketball, and we went to the same church. We were in the same church choir. We went to the same camps. We did everything together. And she didn't ever have a birthday cake, so on her birthday, my mother would always bake her a cake because we always had a big celebration on our birthdays, and I wanted Greta to have it, too, and she thought that was so special. Well, we both graduated high school, and we got married, and we went our separate directions, but believe it or not, we both became nurses, and um, Greta has now retired from nursing, and so have I, and she lives out in the country and has all sorts of animals, and I grew up with animals. And she was always at my house, and uh, she loved the animals. So I sometimes wonder if that had played a part uh, in her getting all the animals during her retirement years. And even though we don't see each other very much because our, our lives did take separate directions, we can when we do see each other, we just pick right up like we've never been apart. And when she sees my mom and dad in the grocery store, of course, she just has to run up and give them a big hug because they helped raise her too. She was a super person, uh, a special friend, special confidant, a protector, uh, someone I could tell all my secrets to, and I just loved her to death and still do. So Greta May was my childhood best friend, and that's why I want to get the Charla May kit by Bonnie Brown, because Charla being my name and Greta May, May being Greta's second name, Charla May, and I want to get her so badly because that would remind me of my best friend and I growing up. 
Greta and Sharla. Greta May and Sharla. But I'm not sure I can get that kit because it's awfully expensive and I think it's sold out. But I, someday I do hope to get it just for that reason, named after Greta May and Sharla. So that was my uh, childhood best friends. And we had lots of adventures together, but there's way too many to tell right now. And some of them are uh, even a little bit surprising and a little bit embarrassing and really big adventures that you probably would never think I would do or that she would do either. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for the tag. This was loads of fun. I really enjoyed it. And I am going to tag I Love My Sweet Pea, Yvonne. And Kim, Night Owl Nursery. I'm going to tag RSR65, Robin, Michelle Hankins, and JC Reborn. JC. So please, all of y'all do the tag. It's loads of fun, and thanks for the tag, Joy Catherine, 1973. All right, everybody. Bye bye.